Imagine the towering peaks of the Himalayas, a region not only known for its majestic beauty, but also for the rivers that flow from its glaciers, providing life to millions in the Indian subcontinent. However, beneath this serenity lies a growing threat, one that could devastate entire communities in a matter of hours. This is the story of the hidden dangers posed by glacial lake outburst floods, GLOFs, and the urgent steps being taken to mitigate these risks. Our story begins in October 2023 with a catastrophic event that shook the nation, the collapse of the Tista III hydroelectric dam in the northeastern state of Sikkim. This dam, once a symbol of progress, became a stark reminder of the vulnerability of human-made structures in the face of nature's fury. The cause? A sudden glacial lake outburst flood, GLOF, an event where the natural dam holding a glacial lake fails, releasing millions of cubic meters of water downstream with devastating force. The collapse of the Tista III Dam was not just a local disaster, it was a wake-up call for the entire country. The Central Water Commission, CWC, immediately sprang into action, realizing that this could not be an isolated incident. There are hundreds of dams across the Himalayan region, and many are at risk of facing similar fates if preventive measures are not taken. In the wake of the disaster, the Central Water Commission decided to review the design parameters of all existing and under-construction dams in the region. The focus was on ensuring these dams could withstand not just the standard floods, but also the more dangerous combination of probable maximum floods, PMFs, and GLOFs. This was an unprecedented move, highlighting the government's recognition of the growing threats posed by climate change. Moreover, the CWC made it mandatory for all new dams in regions with glacial lakes to undergo GLOF studies. This was a critical step in ensuring that future infrastructure projects would be built with the necessary safeguards to withstand the unpredictable nature of glacial lake outbursts. But how do we predict when and where a GLOF might occur? The answer lies in the meticulous work of the Central Water Commission, which monitors 902 glacial lakes and water bodies across the Himalayas every year. Between June and October, these lakes are carefully observed for changes in their water spread area. Any significant expansion could indicate an increased risk of a GLOF, prompting immediate action. This monitoring is not just about data collection, it's about early warning and disaster preparedness. By identifying high-risk lakes, the government can take proactive measures to protect vulnerable communities. Monthly reports are made available to the public, ensuring transparency and enabling local authorities to stay informed and prepared. Recognizing that managing GLOF risks requires a collaborative effort, the National Disaster Management Authority, NDMA, formed a Committee on Disaster Risk Reduction, CODRR. This committee, involving representatives from six Himalayan states and other stakeholders, identified a set of high-risk glacial lakes. Expeditions were sent to these lakes to assess their conditions directly and develop comprehensive mitigation strategies. These strategies included setting up early warning systems, which are crucial for providing communities with the time they need to evacuate in the event of a GLOF. The government also approved R's 150 core project specifically aimed at supporting states like Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Sikkim, and Arunachal Pradesh in their GLOF mitigation efforts. While these immediate actions were necessary, the government also recognized the importance of understanding the broader trends affecting glacial lakes in the Himalayas. The National Center of Polar and Ocean Research, NCPOR, an autonomous institute under the Ministry of Earth Sciences, has been studying pro-glacial lakes in the Chandra Basin since 2013. This long-term research provides valuable insights into how climate change is impacting these lakes and what can be done to mitigate the risks. Additionally, a study sponsored by the National Mission on Himalayan Studies, NMHS, focused on the Tista River Basin in the eastern Himalayas. Conducted by the National Institute of Hydrology in Roorkee, this study explored how snow and glacier contributions to the river are being affected by climate change. The findings from this research are critical for understanding the future risks associated with glacial lakes in the region. With 47 dams identified as being at risk from GLOFs, the government knows that its work is far from over. These dams, many of which are already commissioned and some still under construction, are now under close scrutiny. GLOF studies have been completed for 31 projects, with more ongoing. The aim is to ensure that every dam in the region is equipped to handle the worst-case scenarios. To support these efforts, the Union Power Ministry, Niti Ayog, and the Office of the Principal Scientific Advisor to the Prime Minister's Office are spearheading a national mission. This mission aims to promote carbon capture, utilization, and storage, CCUS, as part of India's net-zero goals by 2070. 
While CCUS is primarily focused on reducing carbon emissions, the technologies and strategies developed under this mission could also play a role in enhancing the resilience of infrastructure in the face of climate change. As we conclude this story, it's clear that the challenges posed by GLOFs and climate change in the Himalayas are significant. But so too is the response. Through a combination of scientific research, government action, and community preparedness, India is taking crucial steps to safeguard its people and infrastructure. However, the journey is far from over. The collapse of the Tista III Dam was a tragedy, but it has also served as a powerful reminder of the importance of vigilance and preparedness in the face of natural disasters. As the climate continues to change, the risks will only grow. It is up to all of us, scientists, policymakers, and citizens alike, to ensure that we are ready for whatever challenges the future may bring. And so, the story of the Himalayas, its glaciers, and its dams continues, a tale of resilience in the face of nature's might, and a testament to the power of human ingenuity and cooperation.